Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Joe. And you know it's your boy Gar. It's your boy Gar. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so we do apologize for not making videos for quite a long time. As you guys know, I've transitioned to a different job, so I'm no longer with the NYPD, but I am still in law enforcement. So with that, you know, with our baby, it has taken a lot of time and we're usually always you know on the go tired working grinding for our family so that's first things first yes and um along with the new career move we also are in the processing process excuse me of getting a new house so that's been a little uh, you know overwhelming too so you know we're gonna be uh, blogging that as well but uh, with that being said you guys already know what's going on in 2020 we are in march and this coronavirus is is taking over man this uh pandemic is very serious uh hundreds of thousands of people are dying um you know right now we're quarantined our son is he's not here right now but he's with his grandma he, he's good he's safe and he's sound but um these are the times where we definitely have to put our faith and trust in the lord continue to pray and um you know, and, and be there for our loved ones. But yeah, man, um, we've been to the supermarket. It's, it's straight crazy. There's no toilet paper, no paper towel, you know, no water. So it's very important for you to, you know, get supplies here and there. But at the same time, just don't panic, man. If you have uh, faith and trust in the Lord, man, everything's gonna be okay. okay. Yeah, with the whole quarantine, basic guys, wash your hands, constantly wash your hands. Yes. Um, yes, it's good to sanitize, but remember, soap and water is essential. Of course, if you don't have soap and water, um, hand sanitizer will do, but just remember that you have to wash your hands. Um, what's one thing that we're always on? Our phone. So you washing your hands and then going back on your phone, same thing. So you can get a wipe and sanitize your phones here and there. Um, what else? And like you said, man, just don't put your hands in your face, man. Hands. I heard with this coronavirus, um, even though it is airborne, somebody cough or sneeze, you know, it could get into your, um, you know, your nasal uh, passages. But with your hands, like you said, we touch everything. So if you're touching your eyes, your nose, your mouth, it could also, also be transmitted that way as well. And if you are sick, stay home. For most of us, you know, we can stay home. But like for myself, my husband, law enforcement, we can't really stay home. But unless, like, unless, unless we're really, you yes, know, sick. like, well, in my job, if I'm sick, if I have anything, they so you know, stay home. Like, just let us know you're sick. You know, everybody has families. Nobody wants anybody to get sick. And then it brings it to another person's family mm -hmm. or have more other people get sick because you're sick. Mm -hmm. So I have the availability that I can stay home with my family. Um, if I'm not feeling okay, I have a couple of days where I can't stay home. As for my husband. He kind of has to grind it out. Kind of got to grind it out, man. Like my wife said, man, we're, we're pretty much like the first line of uh, defense. You know, we're out there, we're grinding. Uh, if there's, you know, any uh, cases of suspect um, coronavirus in, in, a, in a patient, we got to, you know, put gloves on, with the mask, and uh, we could, uh, you know, enter the house. But along with EMS, they're usually going first. But with that being said, man, we just gotta be safe. And also just pray for us, man. Pray for law enforcement, pray for all the nurses, pray for all the doctors, pray for all the first responders. You know, FD and NY, all the firemen is, is, is getting rough. Okay. So for, I have gotten a couple of questions in my DMs regarding one, one is my husband coming back to the IG. Um, that i don't know so he'll have to tell you a little about that whenever he wants to get back he get back I'm, just fo I'm focused right now i'm just focusing on you know youtube i got so much stuff on my plate right now i'm just i'm just focused but i am gonna come back when i do come back i'm gonna bring nothing but energy and vibes okay so there goes the <laughs> answer people yes um number two i've been getting a lot of questions about um how did i lose the weight so quick that's number one so i have been working out baby fat going um i for the most part i'm not gonna lie to you guys i eat healthy i work out that's not that's the one the first thing one um uh, once i got cleared to work out 
Um, my husband, we, even with the stroller, we would go to White Plains track and we would go run the track. Like he was a big support system with that. I just, I didn't, I didn't look at my body and felt ashamed. I just had a baby. So in my head it was okay. During my pregnancy, I enjoyed my pregnancy. I did gain 65 pounds, which it was not always craving. Sometimes it was me. Sometimes it was my husband at two o'clock in the morning where, ooh, are you hungry? And once you tell a pregnant person, are you hungry? Automatically, they're hungry. So yes, I'm hungry. So I did gain 65 pounds. Um, I was initially 130 and I went up to 185, which is a lot. I am only um, 5'2". But once um, I gave birth, I looked at myself. I did not like what I saw, but like I said, I knew I had a baby. I had given life for nine months. You know, I was giving my baby nutrition. I was happy. I was not deprived. So the some certain things that I wasn't eating before, I started craving. Like before I got pregnant, I was in a strict diet where I wouldn't eat pasta. I wouldn't eat rice. I wouldn't eat low carbs. You know, I was trying to like slim down, shred. That was just my goal. Like I wanted to be, you know, I never want, I don't, I don't want to say skinny because I don't want to be skinny. I always wanted to be slim thick. But at that moment, I was shredding some extra pounds that I had. So once I got pregnant, I started craving pasta. I started craving rice. And what happens when you haven't had certain things in a long time and then you just start having it, you know, you get, you gain some weight. So, like I said, once I gave birth, I saw my body after I said, listen, like, this is not what I want. This is not the body that I want. But I'm going to work with what I have. So almost like you can ask my husband, like every month, I was shedding 5 to 10 pounds. 5 to 10 pounds because I was just determined to lose the weight. And um, for some of you, you might say, oh, but that's not healthy. Well, no, because I was eating healthy and I was being active. So it was a lot of water weight that I had. So, you know me being active me eating clean like i shed a lot of pounds so that's what i did that's how i lost the weight i am still um in the process of you know my body is not exactly how i want it but am i happy am i proud heck yes i've come a long way it's no longer you know seeing the scale from 195 and now i'm in the 130s like that is amazing to me i feel i look great to my opinion do i look good Yes, of course. Okay, see? Beautiful. Healthy says I look good. So, so that was um, something that I did. If you have a, guys have any questions, you can always ask me some questions. I'm very open to anyone that is struggling with the weight loss. Um, I know what it feels like. So I I would help you. I will give you tips. I will um, um, motivate you guys to whatever you guys may need. So that's um, cut in a nutshell how I lost the weight. Um, also, um, I, I was using Herbalife. I'm not, I'm clearly not using it no more. Um, it is a great product. I'm not talking bad about it. I just, um, decided to stay off of it for a while. Maybe I will go back to it, but as of right now, I just stopped it. I'm starting to eat, you know, more healthy foods, um, not relying on shakes and stuff because like I said, I, I am in law enforcement, so I am on the move. So I get hungry. Um, no excuse. It's just my way, my personal. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just I decided to um, eat more meals, eat more frequently. And right now, I put a pause on the shakes. I'm not saying that I wouldn't go back to it, but as of right now, I'm not using any products. I do use, um, I just purchased a blessed protein. It is plant-based. It's pretty good. I'm using that right now. And then um, besides that, I'm just eating you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Again, any questions, you can ask below. That's good. And um, as for me, uh, like I said, when this coronavirus is, is uh, affecting the world, the gyms are closed. So me, man, I'm just I'm keeping it real. Um, basic uh, calisthenics, you know, whether it's running around uh, the complex or, you know, going to your track. But you got to also keep in mind, you know, social distancing. So you got to be uh, six feet uh, away from one another. So I do like playing basketball, but I can't even play basketball with um, my friends or with um, you know strangers on the street because it's, kinda, it's gonna be hard to social distance. So whether it's me or 
um, a friend, you know, we could shoot around, we could do shooting drills or whatever, whatever. I could just play basketball by myself or, you know, run the track. Also in the house, you know, wake up in the morning and bang out my, um, my push-ups. You know, you could do diamond push-ups, you know, your, uh, your regular push-ups, standard push-ups. You can also do sit-ups. Um, whether I hold like the 20 pound weights I, that I have, that's, the, that's I think that's the only amount, like the highest weight that we have in the house, right? The 20 pounds or 25? We only have two 20 pounds. Two 20 pounds, yeah. So I could do that, do the sit ups, um, and then I do body squats, man. That's it. That's really, oh, and also burpees, man. Burpees, that's it. When you want to get your heart rate going, burpees, that's that's key, man. That's really all you need because that's a full body um, workout. But that's it, man. I'm trying to keep active. And obviously my son, he got me all over the place too. So got us all over the place. But yeah. So and for ladies then, um I'm also gonna be posting working out videos. I haven't as of yet, but I am working on it. Like I said, we do both have full time jobs that take a lot of our time. And um we do have our son as well, which take a lot of our time as well. Um number two, there's another question that um I was asked and I wanted to answer. How am, how do I keep up with being a full-time mom, being a full-time wife, and having a full-time job? So, it is not easy um, being, um, uh, first of all, being a wife. It's, um, it's a blessing, of course. It, does it have its challenges? Yes, it does. But um, once you know you're with the right person, anything you do is not um, out of... I have to do it you do it out of love you know significant other you guys may bump heads a lot but as long as you guys have that support you know where hey we have to get stuff done and when do you see that something's going you know something doesn't feel right in your relationship when you sit down and you reevaluate like hey i don't like how things are can we talk about it how are you feeling hey i agree i think we're you know, um, drifting apart a bit it's normal you know if nobody's gonna have a perfect relationship all the time no one's gonna be in their high peak all the time so making time just making sure that you make time for that like you both realize like hey like sometimes you know even um you could be at work and your spouse can be at work and you think about it and you shoot him a text like hey like we need to talk you know I, but you know i love you How, however you handle it however you handle it but us like we do love um face to face and talking about it but sometimes, you know, like I said, you could be at work and that person may cross your mind and you just want a, a little reassurance of words. You know, how nice is it that you are at work, you know, busy, but you look down and someone's telling you that they love you, you know? Like, no matter how hard times are, like, that's like a oh, moment, you know? So we do, um, I do, um, that's my being a wife part. And it's also being a wife is making sure your husband has food to take to work. Being a wife is making sure there's uh, clean clothes and making sure, you know, the house is tidy. But then again, those are things that are not only a female's job. Yeah, definitely. You know? It takes two. Like my husband, <laughs> when I'm at work and I come home, my husband has, like, he knows, hey, like, if I'm here with the baby, like, I'll come home to a clean house. You know, he doesn't wait. So I come from work and then I, you know, sometimes I come home at 12 o'clock at night. Am I really going to start cleaning at that time? Teamwork make the dream work. Yeah. So <laughs> that it feels good to come home sometimes and say, okay, like the dishes are washed, the bathroom's clean, the baby's area is clean. So that's nice. Being a mom, being a mom, uh, being a brand new mom. I love it. Our, our baby, he's um, about to be one next month. And his party, we had to cancel it because of Corona. So that's kind of a bummer. But I was thinking even like when the Corona is, um, everything is okay. Even doing a little something for him, like little down the line. Down the line. So yeah, our baby, he is getting big. He is now cruising around, almost walking. So <laughs> he will go anywhere you are. Like, <laughs> hey mom, you're in the bathroom crawling i'm going there too hey mom you're in the kitchen i'm coming there too you know um it's just non-stop work but that's our baby so if we don't we don't do stuff for him who is gonna do it for him you know he's our blessing so being that's being a mom being a wife you know 
being present you know like that's what i wanted i wanted my family you know i sacrificed a lot of things in life because i wanted to be, have a career a husband a baby so that's what i'm doing i know I, that's my responsibility and my res responsibility means making sure my household is you know good working like i said um i did transition <laughs> to, <laughs> to um a new job i I'm not gonna say where I'm at now, um, but yes, I'm no longer with the NYPD. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So, no. I, I'm no longer with the NYPD, which um, I'm still there, still a blessing. It's... Yeah, my husband is still there. I do miss the people. I miss my old coworkers. I miss you know all my family and friends there. But I still, I do still keep in touch with most of them. Still keep in touch with my old boss and stuff like that. I visit sometimes. Um. But coming here so you know like now is a new transition because now i do one week where i work day tours and the next week i work four by so it's a transition where my husband has a lot of get used to so not just me like you know like okay we don't really have the same days off like that like so it's it's tough but like i said it's all about prioritizing 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 um, my family, my my um, my job, you know, at the end of the day, that's what I wanted. Like I said, when you want something and you get it, what do you do? And once you get it, you have to take it for what it is. That's what you wanted. You worked hard for it. I, I worked very hard for it. I trained um, and I got it. So like I said, it's a blessing. And those that question, it really popped up to me because, you know, sometimes we don't give ourselves enough credit. When I say enough credit is like, you know sometimes we do a lot we do so much and we and sometimes we don't look at it and we say we just get stuff done but no sometimes you have to reflect look back like wow i'm an amazing person i'm an amazing mom i'm an amazing you know worker i work hard for what for what i want for what's mine i'm an amazing wife you know like i take care of mine i you know like i i do what i have to do and as long as you have that mentality that positivity where but where you 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 stand believer that you are you know that big shot and of course it's not all you you know you gotta give glory and thanks to the man up above because he gives you you know the blessings the opportunities you know you are alive at this moment because he is allowing you to be so as long as you know you put that that god first and you you know you you give thanks to him because at one point we tend to always you know pray hey i want this i want that and I want it and you pray and then once you get it it's like okay I have it like that's it and then you forget you know to give God all the glory and God all the thanks so from where I am now I do give, give him all the glory and the thanks and let the Lord be with you all <laughs> <laughs> let the Lord be with you all man but yes this is it man this is our uh, our uh, updated quarantine video and um i did was another question but i'm gonna actually um make another video on it, it was a, it's about our wedding our hard rock wedding um i've gotten a lot of respect, um questions on it so i do want to make a whole segment about how was our wedding and our positive and negative so you guys can take a look and if you haven't seen our wedding video just scroll down because it's amazing it's great and you guys should take a look at it <laughs> crazy we're about to be married two years it's like our wedding was 2018, girl was born 2019. About to get this house 2020, God willing. So we're just trying to keep it going, man. Just all all the blessing and glory from the man up above. So I'm just happy to be here, man. We're gonna be bringing you more energy, more videos, I promise. All right, in our next video, you, our, our little man is gonna be right here. <laughs> energy. And uh, we're going to take it from there, y'all. But we love y'all. We miss y'all. And, uh, you know, it's nice talking to you. <laughs>